Hey everyone, welcome to EduTab. This is Deeksha and today we are going to cover a newly launched scheme that is the PM Gati Shakti National Master Plan. And this scheme, it is important from all the examination point of view, be it your RBI grade B, NABAR grade A, CV grade A or any other examination that you are preparing for. And why am I saying this? So see, basically according to the analysis that have been done of all the examinations, any scheme that has been recently launched or any old scheme that was in use for the past one year that becomes important from the examination point of view and that is why we are going to cover this particular scheme that is Gati Shakti today right but before that to our new audience kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and you can also join our telegram channel to get the pdf of every lecture that we provide on youtube the link of uh, our telegram channel it is given below in the description box all right so see, this is a very common scenario that you must have, uh, have observed in India, right? The roads, they are laid first and then the government, it realizes that they have to... Uh, under uh, they have to set up the pipelines or the optical fibers uh, underneath the roads right and then the roads they are dug again and then everything it is done again and again so what happens due to this this cause a lot of economic damage to the government as well as inconvenience to the common man right so uh, to tackle up this problem the government they came up with this pm gati shakti yojana or scheme right so that uh, everything that is uh, economic benefit to the government as well as convenience to the common man it could be done right so what happened we'll start with the basic things that we always do uh, so the launch year of this particular scheme it is october 2021 that is it is recently launched right coming to what are the f uh, yeah what are the funds that would be used for this particular project or under this scheme right so basically it is 100 lakh crore project now from where this money will come so see basically what happened all the uh, currently going on programs they would be clubbed together under the scheme so this is an umbrella scheme what is an umbrella scheme which covers all the pre-existing schemes and they all work together for a higher purpose right so under this uh, many projects that are, that are already going on they would be clubbed together and that that would cost to the 100 lakh crore uh, amount right so these are the funds under this scheme now we'll move ahead with what aim the scheme was launched right so basically that is to build holistic infrastructure in India. What does it mean? See, holistic here, it means a overall complete sustainable uh, development, right? So what happens basically, the aim is to have a proper coordination between the different departments so that uh, there is a step-by-step -step progress and that would lead to better economic way of development here in India, right? So that is the basic things, one-liners that are directly asked in your examination, especially in phase one. Now we'll move ahead Ahead with what are the objectives of this particular scheme and we will study them one by one all right so the first objective of this scheme is to prioritize all mega infrastructure and connectivity targets by 24 25 so what does it mean see uh, this particular scheme it would uh, basically club all the infrastructure projects but for now as a starter so they have decided that all the mega means big projects they would club together by 24 2024 20, 25 right so that is the first objective and the second being multiplier effect of economy right so how this would multiply economy see there are two aspects to it the first one is that uh, when the money will be saved from all the uh, for example okay i'll give uh, i'll give you example for better understanding see uh, roads they are made first then dug for pipelines then roads are made again but if there was a step by step process then uh, there would be a saving of money right uh, that would have been used for creating the roads again now that money is saved now that could be used for some other purpose right so that is how it would have a multiplier effect on economy and the second aspect i would tell you with this third point as well that is a crowd in on private investment now what would happen initially there was no timeline if uh, there was a department who would supposed to uh, uh, underlay the pipelines they would do, uh, have done in their own time right but now with this that because now it is a step by step process there is a pressure on department also to do the work on time right when now the private sector it knows that demand of this raw material is there and that would be fulfilled soon that would be needed soon right because 
uh, in the step by step process this is the first step then they would also feel like that yes there is a uh, profit in this particular business in making raw materials right that would also help the laborers uh, to have job right so this not only would save the money of the government but also will provide jobs to the laborers or the other people who are in the search of jobs uh, as well right next is to create a digital platform to bring 16 ministries together so basically these 16 ministries they constitute of the uh, railway department the roadways department right or uh, per se the inland waters or whatever the petroleum department uh, electric department so every department that is somewhere related to the infrastructure projects they all will be clubbed together uh, in a digital platform what does it mean there will be a particular portal online portal in which all the ministry they would upload their work so that other ministries they could have uh, a knowledge or a check on what uh, projects that are going on in the different departments what are the new projects that they are going to do so that they can synchronize the work and that is what the objective of this scheme is right now moving ahead we'll look at what are the key features of the scheme and these objective key features they they become important for the phase two of your examinations you know they can be asked in a conceptual way all right so talking about the key feature is to undertake various infrastructure projects under district ministries that we have already done right for example bharat mala uh, sagar mala uh, inland waters everything that would be clubbed together right that is the key feature next is various economic zones so what does it mean economic zones constitute of for example agriculture zones for example uh, the defense corridors or textile corridors everything that would be so all the economic zones they would be synchronized uh, and that is the key feature of this scheme next is considerable use of technology so here the government it has decided to use the modern technologies especially taking help of isro okay bicep so these so they would be using help of these for uh you can say um imaginary satellites as well right so imagery satellites i'm sorry so imagery satellites they would help to understand that how much work has been done what is the progress of the different departments and uh till when a particular project of a department would be done so that second department they could come up with their uh, next step right so considerable use of technology and apart from that a single portal for all the projects so there is a systematic way of understanding what work is going where and in how much time right now what we'll do what uh, so next thing that we are going to do uh, is the six pillars of this particular scheme so basically this scheme it has been designed uh, by keeping six pillars and we are going to understand them one by one the first one is comprehensiveness so what does it mean so basically again when every department they have idea that what is going on in other department how much time is left for them to initiate their work that will provide a comprehensiveness in the work right coming to the prioritization what does it mean so basically see a new project has been launched uh, that uh, uh, railway lines would be set up in a particular area right now to set up that the uh, the pipeline should be installed first why because once they have been installed once the railway line has been made uh, and if pipelines they would be installed again then again uh, everything would be uh, what was initial right there would be a loss of money so that is why prioritization so before uh, laying down the railway lines there should be installment of pipeline so that is what priorities should be next is optimization so what does it mean so for example in some area some fertilizer plant has been set up right but now after that when this it has been set up it was realized that there is no uh, access to uh, the pipelines there right uh, so what would happen that fertilizer it would be of no use so that is why this optimization means now uh, the uh, that department the pipeline department it would have to come up and first set up the pipeline so that the that fertilizer plant it could be used right next is with synchronization that we already have understood that when different uh, department they would work together they would have an idea that what other department is doing with the help of the online portal which is a key feature of the scheme uh, there should there will be a sync in that 
Next is analytical. Analytical again with the help of that portal, one ministry it can analyze that what are the uh, functions that are being done by the other department, and they could then schedule their work accordingly. And lastly, we have dynamic. Why dynamic? Dynamic means different things happening at the same time. So basically, uh, now initially, if only roads have been made, but now optical fibers are uh, being installed simultaneously. Right, roads are also made simultaneously. So there is a dynamic de uh, development. Many things are happening at one go. So these were the six pillars of your PM Gati Shakti Yojana. Right now, we'll see why we were. Why did we study? So as you can see here, our article this is of mint which says pm modi to unveil 100 lakh crore gati shakti master plan on wednesday so basically it was on 30, 11th of october and on 13th of october this particular scheme it was uh, launched right and he uh, our prime minister on our 75th uh, uh, independence day on the occasion of it he announced about this particular scheme uh, from the red fort uh, that you should know under the azadi ka amrit mahotsav right so yeah, so now let's have a quick revision for whatever we have studied till now. We'll start with again with something basic. So the launch year of it, it was October 21 that we know. Coming to the funds, that is 100 lakh crores clubbed with all the initially fundings that have been done for the different projects. With an aim for the holistic infrastructure development here in India. Objectives of these schemes, they have to prioritize target that is all the mega infrastructure and connectivity projects by 24-25. Next is to crowd in private investment, right? So private sector would be pretty much interested in it when everything would be on time. And next is to create digital platform for all the 16 ministries that would work together. With the key features, we have the first one that is the infrastructure projects all will be clubbed together, right? Next is the economic zones, whatever corridors that exist in India or are in function or under process, they all will be synchronized. And then we have use of technology with the help of ISRO, BISAC, right? Then we have a single portal for all the ministries to have a check on what work uh, is in progress and how much it is done. The six pillars of it is comprehensiveness, then we have prioritization, then coming up with optimization, then we have synchronization, analytical and lastly we have dynamic. So these are the six pillars of PM Gati Shakti master plan, right? I hope this is all clear to you all. Now there's a homework for you and it is what is the difference between Bharat Mala and Sagar Mala project, okay? So these are mega infrastructure projects that are going on in India. I have uh, even used them as an example, but what are these projects? So tell me in just one line that what is this Bharat Mala and what is this Sagar Mala, right? Because there must be a difference in between them so yeah so and yes these are our toppers of the yesterday session that I have take, uh, taken so Sneha welcome and then crypto he says Varanasi is a constituency of PM that he is correct uh, then we have Varanasi Sagar also said the right answer right Anurag also said the right answer Rohan said the right answer and Sneha also said the right answer and yes Rajiv I think uh, today my pace was fine if not uh, I'll try to do that again, right? And see, not only this, but if you have any queries, comment down below. I'll definitely answer them in my next session. And also, I want uh, you to tell me that which scheme should I cover in my next session uh, so that um, your preparation, it uh, it is good, right? So, yep, that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope this session was fruitful for you all. I'll meet again with another scheme that you want me to cover. Uh, until then, all the very best for your examination. Thank you so much.